So this was sent to me this morning and it really upset me and it reminded me of what Pope Francis has been talking a lot about recently. What you're watching here is a Pride Month promotion on the social media page of a Catholic charity. Now I'm just going to pause it here for a second so we can talk about this. Vinnie's New South Wales represents the collection of individual thrift stores throughout the state, the proceeds from which go towards supporting homeless programs and the material support of the poor. Why is a good Catholic organization like St. Vincent de Paul dedicated to the service of the poor being plastered with pride related propaganda? The answer is simple, ideological, colonization. From quite early in his pontificate, Pope Francis has been warning us of the increasing danger of ideological colonization. This mindset, he said, is invading many circles and public institutions. As a result, agendas are increasingly dictated by a worldview that rejects the natural foundations of humanity and the cultural roots that form the identity of many people, particularly Christians. And he adds, under the guise of defending so-called diversity, it ends up cancelling all sense of identity. And I think that is clearly the case in this particular example. In the attempt to showcase the three woke commandments of diversity, equity, and inclusion, I think this probably young and uncatechized social media team have directly undermined the spirit and the core of St. Vincent de Paul society. It is a deeply Catholic charity based on the charism and example of the saint himself and serving Christ through the poor for almost 200 years. But by promoting a sexual ethic incompatible with Christian moral teaching and anthropology, these particular Vinnie stores that are putting up pride flags everywhere are alienating precisely those faithful Catholics who built the charity in the first place. I don't think any Catholic walking into a Catholic organization should be faced with the moral dilemma of whether or not to give financially to the poor, not knowing whether their money is going towards the needy themselves or for the advancement of an ideology that they don't agree with. So I just wanna ask everyone to just join me in praying for an end to these kind of displays and similar encroachments upon Catholic organizations, charities, and schools. In particular, let's all pray for the cardinal virtue of fortitude in ourselves, that we have the grace, the strength, the courage to promote and defend our Catholic identity, even when pressed by the force of ideological colonization. God bless you all, and more than ever, keep the faith.